С вашего позволения поприветствуем следующих спикеров. Здравствуйте, дорогие друзья, еще раз. Здравствуйте, дорогие друзья, еще раз рады приветствовать вас на нашем докладе. Постараемся сделать его сжатым, но, сжатым, но информативным, да, максимально вложить в него э, контента. So, uh, speaking about content, we were introduced already, so we can go to the next uh, slide. Uh, the last year in December we held the Translation Friday and, and uh, famous in our field uh, person uh, gave his suggestion. I hope Stanislav will comment on it, uh, on, on how we should develop. Uh, okay, uh, everything is written here. Uh, he suggests that this uh, uh, rhyme uh, uh, RIM uh, management system is. Uh, uh, he says that in this work we are uh, to build the effective process which will be uh, useful for us. Uh, and uh, due to this thesis, we uh, built our presentation today and the process will be not only effective and useful but uh, we are sure it will satisfy our uh, client 100 percent yes this is the part of our system and uh, we can see it in the next slide what uh, in tms that's not only tms uh, translation management system it is uh, it includes the modules on optimization of process here we uh, tried to uh, divide it. ERP is our core, uh, the core of the system which is adapted on uh, managing the translation process and also the financial process. Uh, we uh, pointed the other module ERM uh, we are going to, to develop its development uh, here we uh, gave everything that is ruled by the suppliers not only suppliers not just suppliers but this management system and uh, competency system next module CRM is the customer customer relationship management uh, it is the system of uh, managing the uh, process between clients. These are our feedbacks, uh, emails, and uh, here we use our external application. Here we gathered uh, everything that our uh, agents can see, uh, where our agents receive the work, where they uh, can <laughs> correct any data and questionnaires also uh, that we are holding all are also connected to our ERP system and they let us to uh, apply some preventive actions and uh, the other part is analytics analytics of the data that we have in our system this is the uh, system uh, our presentation is based on our aims uh, by 2013. That was what we were uh, aiming for this year, and uh, I hope we will see it by 2014. These aims we uh, put only on this year. We will mention them at the beginning of the present uh, of, of the at the end of the presentation, and we will. Uh, tell about how we will see it in the future and what it will bring to us. Maybe you could comment on something that, that the uh, actual STEM was aimed on the data that we have uh, in our database. We are trying to uh, make some prognosis on uh, to, pr to predict our prognosis our aims those uh, long uh, aims we uh, uh, 
we showed the service from the client, the service of uh, high quality, and the volume. These are the aims that we will uh, regard uh, according to the list. The first aim is the required quality, is the raising of a quality. Uh, what are we doing for it? Uh, as for slides, these are the parts uh, for in order to not overload our slides with the interface, we minimized them and I hope you are able to see the information. I hope uh, everybody will see what I'm talking about. Uh, this is the model uh, of uh, our work, so when the manager uh, corresponds correspond the work, he opens this model and enter the data into it. Uh, if to be short, the client, uh, uh, name of the project, uh, working pair, uh, and the contractors that will take part in this project. The next will be the slides describing the other fields, and now we are going to talk about ratings. Uh, for now, we have our contractors' ratings, and we are trying to prog to make some prognosis on it. Uh, while adding the contractors into work uh, on the stage before the adding it, uh, we can correct this or that contractor which we are adding to the project. And this data gives uh, the manager to make his decision. Here are those data. We have to add that there are some uh, numbers below which they cannot go lower uh, because we have our requirements. For example, four and a half was, were the middle rating. So the project rating should be not lower the four and a half. Uh, and if it will be, if it is below, it will appear in uh, red color, and the manager will see how it will influence uh, on the salary and on the order. Uh, so I did not uh, pay attention on uh, those marks, blue marks. Uh, the analogical situation is with the ratings. Uh, later, we will uh, tell about those numbers uh, and uh, other point, very interesting porting, uh, point is uh, it is one of uh, the signs for project managers to uh, include this or that contractor. Uh, for example, a more developed uh, editor, more developed uh, Worker. Uh, the next slide shows how is rating formed, the rating of a contractor, uh, on which basis is it built, and uh, it is built on uh, the uh, evaluation of editor. Uh, it suggests uh, the evaluation form which the editor fills. Uh, in and our quality management uh, workers included into the system and the system uh, shows it according to uh, each criteria uh, so uh, they can uh, count the final rating uh, of this work which will be according to the contractor. These are the commentaries that uh, our editor, uh, that editors can uh, leave. Uh, these uh, comments uh, can also be re uh, can also be shown by uh, the RPC uh, workers. And this is the department that distribute the projects and control the quality of uh, the final work. Uh, the co-workers of that department send the feedback and those commands are going to the contractor and he can uh, watch them and uh, control the system. 
Uh, also, we can analyze the system. The next form uh, can show you the uh, how does the distribution department distribute their contractors. Here we can see the project uh, and see the rating that we uh, uh, so we can see the middle rating, the average rating. Uh, also, we can see the middle rating due to each criteria which we use. Uh, and by uh, passing from criteria to criteria, we can see the last 10 commentaries that were f given from the editors and if they were sent and what was the result, uh, what was the feedback uh, uh, of, the, of the contractor. Uh, then we uh, gave the separate block. Uh, 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 these are the numbers, uh, the average percentage of uh, uh, work, uh, how, of how, on how many works did the contractor uh, passed over the deadlines. Uh, lower marks are the numbers, uh, the of feedback of on how many of them were sent to the contractor. Uh, and these are the results of the feedback. 170% uh, of feedback had been sent. Yes, yes, perhaps uh, the data was corrected somehow. <sighs> Okay, could you please explain about the delay time in general in on the average scale? On the basis of this parameter, we in the future will try to prognose the quantity of time necessary to make sure that the project would be done. This is a kind of element we um, ba put into the deadline for the supplier to know and for the translator to know how much time he or she needs additionally to make the project ready. Of course, this system is not perfect because we need to calculate on the basis of the volume of works, and I presume that it is calculated on the basis of the quantity of project themsel projects themselves. Technically, it's quite easy to do this, and there is no problem. And what's the plot of this block? That's, again, a pu puzzle for me. I don't know, and we argue about it. It's in a company. The translators cannot use, uh, can't hear the question. Why in minutes? Why in minutes? Because there is a l quite a number of small works, and it's easier to measure them in minutes. The delay in 15 or 20 minutes can result in a reclamation from the side of the client. I may add the answer. The time appointed on the day where it's necessary to hand in the material. Yeah, it happens very often when it is in use agency, for example. Yeah, it's a reality. I can add to the answer. Why in minutes? We have very responsible supplier, and the average delay in 30 minutes is very rare. I wanted to add about the reason why we calculate how m many percent translators agree or ignore our remarks. In reality, the translator oh, either ignores or accepts these remarks. If he or she ignores our feedback, we begin to ask if there is anything wrong. If he argues and agrees or, agrees or disagrees, we understand that it's a good translator. And he cannot accept criticism. We take special measures. We try to send very 
urgent translations or we try to send less translations. It's a kind of adequacy value. Adequacy value. The translator might be adequate as he thinks it. Oh, we, need, we need to know whether he or she is ready to accept criticism and to improve his or her knowledge. I have a question about the people who delay the projects. There are objective reasons such as illness or the light turns on or, or turns off and the delay results in one hour or two. Has does it have any influence that in the future he will have fewer projects? Yes. Force major circumstances will result the average number of the project sent, of the project handed in. Oh, Valentina can comment on it more detailed way. If a translator has some force major circumstances and he informs about it before the deadline, the project manager agrees upon the next deadline and the project manager changes the deadline in the database and when the translator hands in before the new deadlines the, the new deadline there will be no disadvantage for him and if uh, the uh, deadline is not changed so uh, perhaps so uh, then might be it might be a problem for him there are of course translators who have Oh, for force major circumstances almost every day and if project managers take into consideration everything I think uh, many translators will use take advantage of it also we have discussed global ratings according to uh, linguistic evaluation criteria after that we will go into uh, present details and we these are details in terms of our topics. The list is not complete. Can you please return to the previous slide? I will. I want to show you something. So this parameter helps us with the rate we charge the supplier. We try to connect his ratings, his quality ratings, with the rate we offer you to pay we offer him to pay on a regular basis. Uh, the higher the quality rating is, the higher the rate is. It's not real, it's not implemented automatically yet, but vendor, I think when the manager who changes the rate in the database will have uh, some recommended, some dependent, depending on uh, the quality ratings of the performer, and uh, the quality ratings of the company. It remains to be seen yet. So yet, topics. A bit of uh, the list of our topics here. You can see evaluations set according to the topics. The average rating of, uh, re of the performed work and the average ratings of evaluated work for you to understand the number of works which served as a basis. We give the supplier the possibility to define the topics and the status declared. Status declared means that this topic has been declared by the state by the supplier, but no works has have been performed according to these works so far. Confirmed me rating. Means that the first work is done, and we want to come to the fact when two checked works of a given performer according to the given topics, for example, ecology, if he had low ratings, he would have uh, the possibility of being given the projects. Oh, on that topic in the future. So we gave projects, we would be able to give projects to those people who can do this well. 
Oh, of course, this is not a parameter. Uh, sometimes oh, 10 works are checked and 10 uh, works are confirmed. Then the person gets the status confirmed and in the future he will be oh, having greater possibility and greater chances of being selected to do the project on a given topic. Moreover, what um, this system gives us more, if we do the project connected with the advertising, for example, and we have, please return the previous slide, and we have the performers with the low uh, mark as per style criteria, which is vitally important for the advertising tax. Then the project manager will also automatically receive the announcement that the prognosis rating for all the project is good, but if uh, this feature is vitally important for the project, then you're going to have a problem in, implemented, in implementing it. This detailization helps us with this project and to foresee certain risks at the stage of registration, registra registrating the supplier to this project. What I want to add, if a supplier has a status rejected, then he cannot be added to the project. This, sis uh, this system doesn't give the possibility to in include this supplier into the project and uh, special people need to consider wh why this status is re re rejected. The same situation as with the topics. The editors evaluate uh, the competence of working with cat tools. The same criteria, the same parameters are here oh, according to every tool and the comments from the editor how the translator had done this work using these cat tool. In the same way, the status works as uh, he it works in the topics. If the status is rejected, then uh, the supplier won't be able to do the project with the given cat tools. The next part is the introduction. Uh, you can read the introduction to the next part. Uh, Sergei Sant is talking about uh, the fact that from his point of view, the future system of relations between management and client should evaluate the performance possibilities of the companies. And the key phrase from my point of view is, it's not favorable to us to take all the orders or our production is not ready to accept all the orders and we try to found our system on this. We want to understand what orders are profitable for us and what are not. And it would be ideally to forget about the registration of unfavorable order. We would, we want to register such orders only on the permission of the responsible person. Let's pass the point about the profit margin. Let's return to the master of our regi uh, registra registering the works. It uh, concerns the clients and the volumes of clients. Please, uh, Kirill, let's uh, voice it. Uh, the left upper parameter is ABC client, client status in our system. Automated uh, base of the clients. Oh, the algorithmic methods was told by Kirill Fedotov on the last UTIC. It is calculated automatically and periodically according to the given algorithm. Of the lower parameter, oh, I, would, I would like to add that on the basis of ABC analysis of the clients, we want to achieve the fact that the client, which is not included, into the profitable group of client for us cannot be considered. The next parameter is the average income as per one work oh, for the last year. Oh, in terms of our basic currency with the indication of the quantity of works for this year. 
let's explain because it's very complex. It's like uh, the restaurant. There is an average check. You have been to the restaurant and you spend, for example, 500 uh, dollars, euros, and the restaurant calculates the income on one of the parameters is average check. Uh, everybody vis this visits the restaurant, and uh, that's why it's understandable. What we are doing, we, check, we take the average check from the client, and we define at once how much money we spend for buying meat, alcohol, and whatever, and what money is retained to us. It's n not just we have taken the average check and the uh, average value of uh, the order. We are trying to calculate how much money is retained to us after the deduction of direct costs. The interpreter cannot hear the question. Oh, the bl blue highlighting means that on average we performed 211 works for the last year. Okay, thank you, Herman College. And the average profit as per one work made 90 euros. The profit, I mean, uh, with a deduction of direct costs, which were, were able to be calculated. And indirect costs are not taken into account here. As per color highlighting, of the parameter change the color highlighting depending on uh, whether they are higher or lower certain levels or defined by uh, special regulations. We define such limits once a year when we set out the targets of the company. So let's pass on to the next, uh, next slide. If the parameters are red, then they are lower than the admissible level. Oh, we have performed lots of 432 works for the given client. Almost every day he has to do something, but the average profit per each work is lower than the index. It can be good for us, for our company and for uh, for the last year, but in this year we think that we developed and we raised and we now determine it as uh, non-useful, not profitable. Uh, the lower index, uh, which is red, you can see the, there, uh, it is the same but in the measures of a project. In, uh, well, I'm sorry for interrupting. We, our company has the special terminology, the project. We are uh, calling the uh, sum of all the works in the, in the borders of, in the limits of uh, one project. For example, the client sends pieces of work and the projects uh, are uh, their uh, sum. So those uh, numbers are for uh, all the works. Okay, y you call it Uh -huh. You call it line, uh, flatness or lineation. <laughs> Alex, is, Alex agrees with that. Uh, the next uh, index is uh, the uh, proportion sum of, uh, for example, spendings on meat and fish. And the next index, uh, as far as we uh, pass to it, this is the quantity of information on uh, the, uh, the straight line relationship we have. Uh, these, uh, these are the signals uh, to the project manager that these works are not that simple and the relationships with the client are not that simple. Uh, these are reclamation for the clients, not only uh, internal risks, but the reclamations that uh, we already have, and uh, he has to point his attention on on it and uh, learn the history of those uh, reclamations. And uh, the, so the question is correct. Uh, why are we telling you this 
uh, overloaded you with this information. Those signals, those uh, uh, signalizers are uh, allow us, according to the color, uh, decide uh, wh uh, which decision to make. Uh, if the project is uh, too hard or if the project is uh, more complex and need uh, someone more mature and uh, these uh, signals, this uh, data allows us to make the right decision. Uh, the next block, we have a question here. Uh, uh, I have a short question. Uh, uh, on the previous slide, uh, in the lower window, uh, uh, the, let, uh, the number 491, is this the aim rating uh, for uh, the translation or this is the pro it is the prognosis uh, rating, uh, linguistical rating on the quality of a project? So this, uh, we have a mistake in terminology, I'm sorry, uh, we cannot uh, name it with the uh, same word. This is the rating of the quality of a contract contractor's work, and this is the rating of linguistic quality of the project. Uh, on the very moment uh, of including uh, those uh, other contractors, uh, it is very hard to count them, but oh, oh. We excluded it. We can show it later to those who are interested, but uh, we hide those slides, but they are st they still do exist. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much for your question. But uh, <laughs> we think that every everything is great, but we have to eat. Uh, uh, these are the works, the ratings, uh, and the conditions we have to work in. Uh, the next part uh, is our uh, uh, done tasks. Uh, our uh, first, what we implemented, we shortened uh, the influence of the human factor uh, on uh, not completing the task. Uh, first of all, it's checklists, the standards. No, we did not shorten it. Yes, we did. Uh, before we did... Uh -huh. Before the project manager feel, uh, fulfills all those tasks, we cannot continue further. So the project manager now here can uh, add other checklists. Uh, which are specified for each client and each work. And before project manager uh, points that uh, every, uh, everything is completed, uh, the system will uh, will make a demand on the point uh, on which stage this project uh, is completed. Uh, so uh, there will be one uh, more window emerging, yes? Yes. The next stage uh, that we are looking through is uh, the finishing of the work. If we closed all the checklists, uh, all the tasks are done. Uh, we are writing the letter to the client about the status of work and uh, and offer to our client uh, to make a evaluation of the work on the, our quality work. Here we have the direct link on it uh, in each questions in, in each letter that uh, we are sending. And when he uh, passed through those stars, you can see, uh, he passes to the next page on which he can write a feedback uh, and evaluate the quality of our job done. So how do we use it? If the rating is below the below three stars, uh, 
it is saved to the system and uh, we receive the notification that uh, the job uh, is evaluated and if uh, uh, if it is below if the result is below 3 uh, stars, then, then the latter receives our uh, directors and CEOs. As, uh, if we have uh, even lower uh, evaluations, then they uh, go to reclamation. Uh, the next block uh, that a client can see on the next page when he passed to it uh, is how did we manage to fulfill the tasks and aims of the client. Uh, so we have the uh, checklist where we can point if which points we uh, managed to fulfill and uh, the client have uh, the opportunity to download the file even if he did not order that uh, the uh, uh, report about uh, QA uh, and in the future he will be able to download the files before uh, the uh, correction of the work uh, and if uh, this work have been implemented between the client and the contractor that if some tasks internal tasks uh, on quality control were fulfilled we can this in, uh, uh, we can take this uh, internal checklist and make it available for the client the automated spell check w w then we can we would be able to say that automatic automatical uh, spell check was completed so i think this is quite uh, high quality level and high quality uh, trust between the client and the contractor but uh, once more i i understand that uh, not always we can implement it i understand that's that's just an experiment anyway uh, now we are posting the file as a rule uh, the a report uh, about automated quality check. Uh, for the third time, we have this window emerged. Uh, it is important to underline about the reclamation. Why do we need the feedbacks and reclamations? What are we doing with them? Uh, we accumulate them in one form. I hope uh, you can see, hopefully, <laughs> dead, uh, headlines. Uh, and it is important to notice that everything is one, in one place. I would like to uh, uh, to select this block. These are the feedbacks received from the client uh, about each uh, work he evaluated. So in this pretty form, for example, he uh, put his evaluation mark or uh, wrote the feedback and if he wrote uh, wrote something it will be uh, appeared in the list so uh, the lower block is the reclamation that we ha that the client has uh, due to all the works he has so he could uh, uh, register those reclamation and uh, we if we can see that this is critical for the project and uh, we see that the risk uh, that we will receive uh, uh, receive the work back so we can uh, do some prevention jobs on that um, uh, and uh, what about the reclamation lists? We have the commentaries and the reasons uh, and commentaries on what we have done uh, for uh, in order to improve this reclamation. Uh, in order this uh, did not happen again. How can we use it? We can understand uh, the level of satisfaction, of client satisfaction. Uh, so uh, if there will be uh, for example, 10 reclamations or 10 uh, A's uh, or uh, F's, uh, we, we would like to 
receive uh, the feedback from the client and not just once a year but more often uh, we want to evaluate each work and we could see in real time how uh, how are we in in the client's eyes so we need this reclamation uh, evaluation and we are planning to uh, make a formula on it uh, i'll explain you why do we have uh, to build this system because this uh, is actually the risk management uh, which stefan was talking about today so we are trying to register all the reclamations that we had and uh, in fact what is the reclamation is these are the risks uh, we are trying to uh, uh, to determine it uh, in each project. Uh, uh, this is the same what Stefan was talking about. We built matrix uh, in which we uh, can see in, in which square we have the most risks, uh, the most risky risks. <laughs> and then we can automat automatize uh, the reports when the metrics will be generated where we will uh, be able to see the square with the most serious risks we have to deal with so uh, this is the implementation of risk management uh, and uh, through, through the reclamation module in our uh, system The next block is the volume uh, and, and the relationship between the raising of a volume uh, with the same resources. And uh, let's skip this slide, please, and uh, please give our evaluation of our own development, uh, our uh, own evaluation as we could see and can see now. Uh, let's try to look through it. Uh, so the cost for development is equal or even higher than the cost for uh, the solution, already made solution. And it is uh, much way more the translators cannot hear the sentence. No, I think it is, it is more uh, useful for health. It's just we are the fans that we... But in fact, the quantity of the money spent on this uh, is quite higher than we would need in order to buy uh, the already made project. Uh, Alex, let us, uh, we have limited time, uh, let us finish, please. We have two, two or more sentences. Uh, plus one, Stanislav has already mentioned. Uh, plus, plus, which is the plus? This is the heaven for the fans. <laughs> and the minus uh, is that we are the hostages of the situation because we develop uh, not to say uh, totally new technologies, not totally modern technologies, but these are the application uh, developed on Delphi. Uh, but still we raise money on that and we uh, are okay with that. And we, <laughs> and if to talk about it selling, it's the separate universe. <laughs> okay. Kirill will erase that button fast and with no pain. Uh, and uh, speaking about the resources and the health that we have to save for development of that system, uh, the programmers have to implement it. Uh, uh, this is not the very correct approach uh, which I can discuss in ballrooms with you on the breaks. Uh, but how to evaluate what is right or wrong uh, from the point of view? How can we? Uh, thank you. 
Questions, please. Uh, I have a question. Uh, as far as I understand that the system wa had been developing not for today's, from 2004. Okay, so ten, for 10 years it have been developing for years. So if we can, if we count how many uh, human hours was spent on development, uh, I'm not counting the, all the pills and medicines. <laughs> so, <laughs> and how many, how much money could we spend in those 10 years uh, on out of the box, uh, which you uh, would programmed and developed in any way? In any case, you would have done that. Um, so still, it's, it will be more expensive, yes? Uh, we cannot say for sure, but uh, we think that uh, it could be equal or e more expensive because you know how much that the uh, developers work costs and uh, it is just increasing and uh, I think that uh, developers who will be uh, working on customization somewhere in Germany will uh, I think can found something unexpected. Uh, so still we have the system that allows us to customize, but in the uh, pro producers uh, do the customization. And uh, if to take our company for t uh, 10 years ago uh, uh, with the totally chaotic business processes and aims and uh, unclear mo unclear thoughts uh, so sure sure uh, the done system the completed system would be structurized would could be better Uh, Igor Logrus, uh, uh, I want to ask about the vendor uh, evaluation. So, uh, as far as I understand, that uh, editor uh, gives the evaluation of contractors. Yes, he puts the marks, uh, but maybe it is not that right. Uh, maybe, maybe the. Re the editor is not that good. How can you evaluate editors? Uh, because uh, each opinion it differs, and uh, for example, there were numbers uh, different from other vendors. And uh, in any case, how can you? What is the system of vendor evaluation? We call it. We call it the subject evaluation, subjective evaluation. Uh, uh, the quantity of uh, those, uh, if we have a lot of subjective opinions this, uh, which are the same, uh, then we will receive uh, the main opinion. In years, we will anyway, in any case, we will see our gold fund of our contractors. Uh, for example, we, we, in any case, with the time, we will see the which contractors are our uh, good gold contractors, and it can be easily uh, determined with rating. And this. Uh, this is the group group subjective uh, evaluation which can uh, then beca become the objective evaluation this system works and uh, it can be measured uh, but in the middle it's eager eager i can answer to your question uh, we uh, edit uh, each uh, work of a freelancer and give the marks uh, depending on our uh, opportunities please don't believe uh, to those slides and in the, because in the fact uh, the numbers are much much uh, way way more different uh, 
Well, uh, it's not true. The, pro uh, the percentage of work uh, is uh, quite low. Uh, we can see the low rating of contractor. We have a uh, few more uh, control uh, points. We can uh, tell later in brand breaks and colors on how did we receive that level Stanislav we are good uh, actually okay what about the fanatics <laughs> я хотел добавить кое-что к сделай и продай аспекту что хорошего о том что Это то, что я э, начинаю, вы начинаете анализировать процесс, стандартизировать его, и, э, и он становится в конечном итоге даже э, более дорогим. Но это ваше статистическое решение, это, э, это, то есть я вижу, это очень, очень умная система. Спасибо. Thank you. Uh, I have one more question, a uh, pretty painful question. Who, uh, who decides uh, about the evaluation of work when we receive the negative evaluation from the client? I do not, I can't get why wasn't I invited the third. Uh, I uh, work with the, all the information. I read uh, all the information database. I uh, am working with the uh, translators and editors and their opinions. I also contact the clients if I need to. Uh, and while uh, forming this reclamation of quality, uh, we put the status of relevance uh, on how uh, uh, on how uh, did he make the feedback uh, and then we received the automated uh, automated feedback automated report if uh, on if we did everything uh, you cannot manage all the topics uh, despite that you are very valuable specialists but still you cannot handle all the all the topics you cannot handle all the reclamations and topics because even uh, sometimes even a group of people cannot manage them mm. yes sure if we have different uh, terminology we uh, apply to we call other editor okay uh, Vala gives the final uh, final vote for reclamation so we can we can we can eat together and continue but we have to eat uh, thank you very much